I hope this example will help you with the theoretical probabilities on your dice lab. Suppose our dice are a d4 and a d20, and we need to calculate the theoretical probability the results have a product greater than 25. The denominator is the easy part. We can use the multiplication rule to say that 4 sides on the smaller die times 20 sides on the larger die gives us 80 ways the dice can land altogether. Next, we need to figure out how many of those have a product greater than 25. And here's a method that will work for that. We make a little chart for two types of dice. We can ask ourselves, if the d4 lands on a 1, then what could the d20 land on that would give us a product greater than 25? Since the highest the d20 can land is 20, and 1 times 20 is less than 25, there are none. But what if the d4 lands on a 2? The 20 will work, since 2 times 20 is 40, and so will the 19, and 18, and 17. 2 times 16 is 32, so that still works. And 15, and 14. 2 times 13 is 26, but 2 times 12 is only 24, so that won't work. If we count these up, that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 ways that we could get a product greater than 25. If the d4 lands on a 3, 20 will work since 3 times 20 is 60. And all the numbers on down will work until, let's see, 3 times 8 is 24, so 8 won't work. But 3 times 9 is 27, so that's okay. When you're figuring out how many numbers are between 9 and 20, make sure that you include both the 9 and the 20. This might be a time to count on your fingers. This works out to being 12 ways. If the d4 lands on a 4, there are even more possibilities. Everything from 20 down to 7. 4 times 7 is 28. So that works, but 4 times 6 is 24, and that doesn't work. And this is 14 more ways. So now that we've exhausted all of the sides the d4 can land on, we're done. We just need to add up the number of different ways that this could land. And that is 34 total ways to get a product greater than 25. On your lab, it may be possible to get the product that it's asking about, so be sure that you are careful with your greater thans versus greater than or equal to. When it's asking for products greater than 20, don't include the 20s. So now that we know that there are 34 ways to get a product greater than 25, out of 80 possible ways the dice can land, we can divide, and that gives us 42.5% chance of getting a product greater than 25.